Hello, it's Valerie from Shalebrook Handcrafted Soap in Mosa River. And uh, today I'm doing a video on a design I did uh, by doing a drop swirl. The original was for lavender cream, a co-process, oven process soap. And uh, this is what it looked like. So that was done by a drop swirl. And I was asked to show how I did that. And uh, so today I'm going to try to duplicate that, but in a soap called Lemon Twist. And um, so it's going to have a, a, a white batter with a chiffon yellow and a sunflower yellow and clementine. Those uh, micas are from Steph's Micas. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do a drop swirl. So this video isn't about how I do the soap or the formula. It's about how I do that particular design. And um, it has a uh, lemon essential oil, lemongrass essential oil, and let's say, let's say a cube, cubeba, and, uh, or cubea. I don't know exactly how to pronounce that last part, <laughs> but uh, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. And um, we'll see how it goes. It's a cold process, oven process, and I'm gonna do the method by heat transfer. And I wanted to give an introduction first because I'm not gonna show how to do the heat transfer. Uh, I already have a video on there for uh, remembering the Titanic uh, and I showed how to do the heat transfer through that video. So this will just be showing how I do the drop swirl for that particular design. Okay, so thank you and as soon as my soap is ready and I have all the pictures uh, of this, the soap batter separated and the, and the pictures colored, uh, I will bring you back and as soon as I bring you back, I'll show you how I do the design. And uh, then, uh, when the soap is finished and I cut it, I will post the cut of that soap along with this video. Okay, thank you, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so we're back, and we're ready to do the drop swirl with this. Whoops, I just ripped my glove, as you can see right there, so I think I'd better get a new one on. Sorry about that. Okay, so you should always be prepared to, in case your gloves rip, to have another one handy and you want to be careful because it's cold process so it's lye heavy uh, in the sense that the lye hasn't saponified yet, not that the it won't. Well, it's just not going on good. But Okay, so um, here we are and uh, I'm using clementine and sunflower yellow and chiffon yellow, but it looks like it's morphed, the chiffon yellow has morphed, and I'm hoping because this is cold process that it just had a reaction with the lye there a bit, and it'll go back to being a beautiful pale yellow. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put just a little bit of white in the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to drop swirl from real high up some of this chiffon yellow and I'm just going to go back and forth from one end to the other from high up. Well, actually you don't need to be too high up because uh, that's just a thin layer of soap there. And all I do is just go back and forth like that. And I'll just do a bit of white on top of that I think. So you can see that it's not really a, oh yeah, I'm going to do mostly yellow first. So this is the sunflower yellow, and I'm just going to do higher up, whoops, you can see that got over the side there, just scoop that back in. And I'll just do a bit more white. Some of that chiffon yellow. And then I think I'll take this clementine.
And I'm going to scrape this bowl down. Sorry about that. The battery died on the camera. And that's another lesson to learn is check your battery. So I'm just finishing off the top of the soap. I had finished pouring it there just before I think the battery died. And when I get this top done, I'm just, um, I'll just be doing a mantra swirl on the top, I'll try. You see how fluid that batter was? So that, that works nice. Not really sure how it's going to go now, but I'll show you the cut regardless. Can always learn something from whatever goes wrong. You don't want that to go wrong in a video, that's for sure. But sometimes it does. And that's real life. The main thing is is that um, your design doesn't always have to be beautiful by any means, but you should really try to make sure that you have a good formula that helps your skin, that doesn't dry your skin out, but that helps your skin. So that's the drop swirl. Pretty, pretty easy peasy. Okay, you start dropping from on high so that um, hopefully that it comes around again. So you drop it and it drops into a circle, but it pushes the other soap so that it comes up like a horseshoe and goes around. <laughs> I didn't plan that too well. That is, uh, I don't know. So I'm gonna, my husband's just turning the oven on for me there to 170 and I'll, it's a three pound batch. So I'll put that in the oven at 170 um, with the door shut for 10 minutes and then I'll turn the oven off and do 10 minutes. And then I'll leave the door jar and do 10 minutes. And I'll, I'll always be checking actually to see if, if there's any bubbles coming because I don't want to overheat that. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll be posting the cut. Have a great day, everybody. So this is the drop swirl cut, and um, this is uh, was done cold process, oven process, and I actually kept it too long in the oven in the heat, even though I had it, uh, it so it got some glycerin rivers in it. But this was the drop swirl, and um, do you remember the chiffon lemon that I had used that turned an orange, well it turned back to the chiffon lemon which I was really happy about. So now I know that even though it morphs in cold process, it will still go back to the original color. 
Um, so this is the drop swirl, and I'm not particularly thrilled about it. It wasn't as good as the um, lavender cream. I think I was a bit discombobbled there. And uh, but remember, when you're pouring this, that you uh, you can put a bottom layer in, and then you hold it up high, and just pour back and forth the same line. Do your next color back and forth up high, and as you get down, you can lower it. Um, or you can keep pouring high, it's totally up to you. I happened in the lavender cream, I just poured lower as I got to the top. So I just wanted to show you this and to show you uh, a couple of the ones of how they came out. And the other thing was in this I didn't uh, use enough white to make the color stand out a bit more. So um, I don't know if you can see can you see those there, hon? Uh, so that's what it looks like, and uh, it smells awesome. It was lemon, lemongrass, and let's say cubeba. So um, that's the cut, and that's the drop swirl. And uh, try it out. You never know what kind of designs you're going to get out of it and um, the difference in the colors. But like I said, I wish I would have used a bit more white. Um, but try it out and enjoy it and have fun. Thank you again for watching, and bye from Shellbrook Handcrafted Soap in Mosa River.